Parallel universes are no longer just a plot device in a good science fiction novel. Some scientific theories now support the existence of parallel universes to our own. The multiverse theory, on the other hand, remains one of science's most divisive concepts. Let's know more. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk Evolution, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to tell you about parallel universes that are popular in science fiction. But the question is, could we, however, be in one? Let's see what Elon Musk has to say. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our incredible videos. Parallel worlds and multiverses are frequently discussed in conjunction with other major scientific concepts, such as the Big Bang, string theory, and quantum mechanics. This leads to the idea of Elon. Is the world we live in real or virtual reality? Like characters trapped inside a video game created by a space alien. That may sound like a question you'd hear in a midnight showing of The Matrix, but it's really become a hot topic in academia. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, is a high-profile supporter of the simulation hypothesis, which he recently discussed in an interview for a popular podcast. If you assume any rate of improvement at all, games will eventually be indistinguishable from reality, Elon said. We're most likely in a simulation. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson agrees, stating that the simulation hypothesis has better than a 50-50 odds of being correct. In an email to NBC News Mock, he said, I wish I could summon a strong argument against it, but I can't find any. It's being said that an advanced post-human civilization has created us as an ancestor simulation. That's a crazy idea, but is it the one that Elon Musk, for example, has considered? His conclusion is that there are billions to one chance, my intellects, that we aren't living in a simulation. The size of our universe is unfathomable, hundreds of billions if not trillions of galaxies, each containing billions or trillions of stars, spin through space. According to some researchers studying universe models, the universe's diameter would be 7 billion light years across. Others believe it could go on indefinitely. Is it, however, all there is? The idea of a parallel universe and the possibility that we are living in one of an infinite number of lives is a popular one in science fiction. However, multiverses aren't just for Star Trek, Spider-Man, and Doctor Who. Real scientific theory investigates, and in some cases supports, the possibility of parallel or distant universes that mirror our own. Musk, the man behind Tesla and SpaceX, the company aiming to send manned missions to Mars, is not a fool. His net worth is estimated to be around $249.3 billion, with the majority of that coming from the commercialization of technological innovations. He's putting money into a massive AI study that will take place all over the world. He's a man who is focused on the future and all of its possibilities. So it's not quite the same as David Icke claiming that we're being ruled by a secret brotherhood of shape-shifting reptiles when he is saying he believes we're already living in a simulation. However, it doesn't sound all that different, which is concerning. One of the issues with the simulation hypothesis is this. Because it is unfalsifiable, even though it is perfectly logical argument, it opens up a world of possibilities, many of which are so far-fetched as Ike's villainous lizard people. When you factor in the complexities of multiverse theories, you're looking at a nearly infinite number of simulated realities, each of which could contain countless other simulations, such as the one in which I'm wearing a headset and chasing a ball while balancing on a high-rise walkway in a Houston office building. Of course, it was a light-hearted piece, but it brought up a serious point. Is it possible, if we are in a simulation, that is, like any other computer software, we'll have glitches. Is the person in charge of the simulation an evil demon in the Cartesian sense? Or could events like the Second World War be explained by a programmatic failure? Stephen Hawking, a renowned physicist, submitted a research paper just two weeks before his death that suggests parallel universes and predicts the end of this one. Hawking and his co-author, Thomas Hertog, published their findings in the paper, A Smooth Exit from Eternal Inflation which explains how scientists could use a spaceship to detect other universes. Hawking finished writing the paper from his deathbed, according to Hertog, leaving a lasting legacy worthy of the Nobel Prize. Hawking described how Earth came into being during the Big Bang, using his no-boundary theory, which he developed with physicist James Hartle. His theory claims that the Big Bang was presidented by several Big Bangs, resulting in the creation of multiple universes. 
Despite the fact that measuring the multiverse is considered impossible, Hawking's final paper looked into how these universes could be discovered using a probe on a spaceship. Everything we know was an infinitesimal singularity around 3.7 billion years ago. Then it exploded, expanding faster than the speed of light in all directions for a fraction of a second, according to the Big Bang Theory. In a process known as cosmic inflation, the universe exploded outwards to 1,026 times its original size in less than 10 to 32 seconds. And that's before the actual expansion of matter known as the Big Bang, which was a result of all this inflation. As inflation slowed, a flood of matter and radiation poured into the universe, forming the classic Big Bang fireball and the atoms, molecules, stars, and galaxies that now populate the vastness of space that surrounds us. Some researchers believe that multiple universes are possible, if not very likely, due to the mysterious process of inflation and the Big Bang. According to Tufts University theoretical physicist Alexander Vilkin, inflation did not end everywhere at the same time. While cosmic inflation ended 13.8 billion years ago for everything we can see on Earth, it continues in other places. This is known as the internal inflation theory. In 2011, Vilkin wrote for Scientific America about how when inflation stops in one place, a new bubble universe emerges. Because they continue to expand indefinitely, those bubble universes are unable to communicate with one another. We'd never reach the edge of our own bubble, where it might collide with the next bubble universe over, because the edge is zipping away from us faster than the speed of light, and faster than we could ever travel. Even if we were to reach the next bubble, eternal inflation, combined with string theory, suggests that our familiar universe, with its physical constraints and habitable conditions, would be vastly different from the hypothetical bubble universe next to ours. This is what Vilenkin wrote. This picture of the universe, or multiverse, as it is called, explains the long-standing mystery of why the constants of nature appear to be fine-tuned for the emergence of life. The reason is that intelligent observers exist only in those rare bubbles in which, by pure chance, the constants happen to be just right for life to evolve. The rest of the multiverse remains barren, but no one is there to complain about it. Vilenkin's explanation implies that other intelligent observers could exist in some of the infinite bubble universes outside of our own, but with each passing second, we move further away from them, and we will never meet. This is not it. Also, Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking have both warned that artificial intelligence could be the end of humanity. According to Stephen Hawking, the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end for the human race. Humans who are limited by slow biological evolution couldn't compete and would be superseded, says Stephen Hawking, who adds that efforts to create thinking machines pose a threat to our very existence. Professor Hawking isn't the only one who is concerned about the future. In the short term, there are fears that intelligent machines capable of performing tasks previously performed by humans will quickly eliminate millions of jobs. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a like and share it with your friends and family. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. You can also watch our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.